I'm Molly McHugh and this is DT Daily. Coming up, Google is devising a scheme to track your eyes, how to make any surface a touchscreen, and prepare for countless hours of consequence-free larceny as Grand Theft Auto V Online is revealed. Privacy watchdogs are up in arms over Google's plan to monitor your eyes. Patents filed by the tech giant detail the use of a head-mounted device, presumably Google Glass, which detects how people react emotionally to what they're looking at. Cameras would track pupil dilation, and that information would be uploaded to a database. The big winners here are advertisers. They could easily gauge the success of their campaigns based on analytics from Glass. To ease privacy concerns, Google says data would be collected anonymously. But when it comes down to it, if a person makes the decision to put Google Glass on their head, privacy is the least of their concerns. Microsoft's Kinect sensor started out as a simple game controller. But over the years, it's been put to many non-gaming uses, like the eyes of a beer pouring robot and a sensor that steers a waste bucket under tossed trash. Now, Ubi Interactive is selling a new system that turns any surface into a touchscreen. It uses Microsoft Connect sensor, a computer running Ubi software, and a projector. Ubi is marketing the system as a way to enhance business presentations, but applications for the technology go far beyond that. The basic software package costs 150 bucks, with an enterprise version going for $1,500. It's been a week full of new game previews, and today it's Rockstar's turn. Grand Theft Auto Online is billed as a totally separate experience from the single-player game. Rockstar calls it a persistent world, meaning it will constantly be developing and evolving. There are classic online modes, of course, but players can also progress through the massive world, building their rep, and meeting new characters in a free-form yet semi-structured way. In addition to running around solo, you can team up with others to complete jobs and join activities. Players can also buy property in the game to increase their prestige. GTA Online launches on October 1st, two weeks after the game hits retail shelves. Clear your calendars now. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.